In New South Wales, the opposition has accused the government of brokering a dirty deal with the Shooters' Party to pass its power privatisation bill. The Shooters' Party today revealed the Premier will consider lifting its electoral funding. This follows yesterday's announcement that licensed shooters will be allowed into 79 national parks to hunt feral animals. A move the Greens' party has warned will lead to human fatalities. Kerry Brewster reports. The New South Wales Shooters Party says 17,000 licensed shooters may be eligible to hunt feral animals in scores of national parks and nature reserves across the state. MP Robert Borsak, a keen hunter himself, sees the deal as an exciting expansion of his constituents' rights. Our licensed hunters in state forests in the last six years have done over 100,000 uh, licensed hunts onto public land in those state forests and uh, the opportunities there to utilise these people, they are volunteers, um, I, you know, we categorise them pretty much as a, uh, like an SES type volunteer. They're, they're people that are doing it for the, for the love of it, they like to hunt, they also like to eat the animals uh, that they, uh, they hunt and uh, there's an opportunity there to really just extend this model into uh, more areas of public land. The deal allowing hunters into national parks to cull pigs, dogs, cats and goats has outraged Greens party MPs. What we're seeing here in New South Wales is a promotion of a pro-hunting, pro-gun culture being driven by a radical right-wing party in this, in this parliament and now being given support and substance by the Premier of the day. The experience of other countries shows that when public land is opened up to shooters, the results can be tragic. In late 2010, a 25-year-old New Zealand schoolteacher, Rosemary Ives, was shot dead while brushing her teeth at a campsite in a conservation park on the North Island. The amateur hunter responsible mistook her for a deer. It happened again late last year. 23-year-old Dougal Fife shot dead by an amateur hunter on public land in the South Island. As more and more hunters occupy the national parks and state forests side by side with other users, it's almost inevitable we will see those fatalities here in New South Wales. Environment Minister Robin Parker will oversee what she describes as an extension of an existing eradication program. There have been some tragic accidents where people have been shot dead accidentally by amateur shooters. Are you concerned about that? I'm making sure that we extend the program that we've already got underway. It's a safe program. Shooting already occurs out in national parks with contractors, supervised shooting. Uh, this is an extension of that program. This is not a free-for-all and people need to understand that. But this is greatly applauded because we want to get rid of feral animals. Feral dogs, for example, kill our koalas. They're the greatest risk to our koalas, our native animals, and certainly to our livestock. Are you aware of the deaths in New Zealand? This is about what we do in New South Wales. We'll get the best practice model in place. It occurs in South Australia. No, but do you know? Do you know? Don't, the, don't do you know you the deaths in? That do you know the deaths already in? Already exists. No, but already exists. Minister, I'm just asking you about the 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 tragic shooting deaths in New Zealand. Are you aware of them? We are making sure we're expanding our program and I can, I, as the Minister, I'm responsible for what happens in New South Wales parks. Shooting has existed in the term of the last government and this government, 25,000 feral animals taken out of national parks. Uh, that, that's a good outcome. We can expand that outcome. We've done it safely so far and we will continue to do so. So do I take it that the deaths in New Zealand don't concern you? You can take it from me that this will be strictly supervised, this will be controlled, this will be licensed shooters, an expansion of a program which safely exists at the moment, shooting in our national parks, taking out 25,000 feral animals last year. On the day she defended the decision to allow amateur shooters in, the Environment Minister unveiled a new national parks website designed to attract more visitors. Kerry Brewster, Lateline.